Good morning. I'm Scott Sager, Vice President for Church Services here at Lipscomb, and I want to welcome you to something new or beginning today. We're calling it the Midweek Lift. Now, every workday morning, you should be getting something from us, a written devotional, but on Wednesday, we wanted to do something special by offering a powerful 15-minute video devotional that can inspire your day and help you make it through the rest of the week. Today, we begin by having a prayer, and then Kim Chidoan will be reading scripture for us. Mark Lanier, a member of our Board of Trustees, the founder of the Lanier Library, and the Lanier Law Firm will be our speaker, and then we'll close with some music by Stephen Curtis Chapman. We hope it inspires you, you enjoy it, and also that it fills your day with a lift that comes from Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for this day. We want to praise you for being our creator and our sustainer, the giver of life. We thank you that the seasons change at your command. We thank you for your presence among us, your blessing upon us, even in the midst of a difficult virus. We thank you for the community that we're a part of here, and we pray that your blessing might be upon us. Lord, we also thank you that you are our comfort when we're going through difficult times. We know many of us have loved ones in the hospital and in nursing homes, and we pray your comfort and care upon them. We especially pray for your comforting mercies to be poured out upon the CEA and upon our security team at the loss of employees that they have experienced. Lord, we ask that you would bless our school, our president, our board of trustees. We pray that you would be with them during this board of trustees week. And Lord, we pray more than anything else that your Holy Spirit would blow through this place. We ask for a fresh wind and a fresh fire, that Christ might be lifted up and that all people might be drawn to him. May our time spent together in worship this morning bring praise to you and encouragement to each other, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Our scripture reading for today is Philippians 4, 4 through 13. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. Let your gentle spirit be known to all people. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and pleading with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if anything worthy of praise, think about these things. As for the things you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, practice these things and the God of peace will be with you. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at last you have revived your concern for me. Indeed, you were concerned before, but you lacked an opportunity to act. Not that I speak from need, for I've learned to be content in whatever circumstances I am. I know how to get along with little, and I also know how to live in prosperity. In any and every circumstance, I've learned the secret of being filled and going hungry, both of having abundance and suffering need. I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Hey, it's Mark Lanier. I don't know how you're doing today, but I got to tell you. Yesterday, I ate way too much. I mean, I had... I started out okay. I, I had a decent breakfast, but breakfast led to a snack, which led to another snack, which led to a pretty good lunch, which led to another snack. You know the culprit behind the snacks? It's these little puppies right here. These Lance whole grain real peanut butter crackers. First of all, they say 200 calories. I mean, what's 200 calories between friends, right? So I'm thinking I could eat a pack and a pack of them has six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can get six crackers. You do the math. 200 calories, six crackers. Technically, technically, each cracker is two crackers, sandwiched with peanut butter in the middle. So you're looking at 12 crackers. That's less than 20 calories a cracker. 
And so I'm thinking, this isn't a bad snack. The problem is, it's addictive. You eat one, you eat the next, you eat the next, and after you finish this pack, you better hope you didn't buy it in bulk, because if you did, you're going for it. So I ate way too much yesterday. Today is going to be um, eating less, I hope. I better not open these. I would like to talk to you about the power of today. And the power of today does not rest, the true power of today does not rest in your self-discipline or mine. The power of today to get things done that need to be done does not rest in my talent, in my uh, skill, in luck. The true power to get things done today rests in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, let me tell you what I mean. Every morning, what I do is I, well, not every morning, but most every morning, what I do is I say, all right, what do I have to do today? And I make lists. I have here my, my book. I have my list of things I have to do today. And some of the things are really going to be fun and exciting and good. Some of the things are just kind of like, meh, I got to do that. Some of the things just between you and me, I no more want to do than I want to go to the dentist and have a root canal. I mean, it's just not going to be fun stuff. So I don't know what you've got to do today. You may have things that are fun. You may have things that are meh. And you may have things that you just really don't want to face. But whatever you have to do today, we have the certainty from God that we can do it. We are empowered to do it because the God who is at work in us is the God who raised Jesus from the dead. So unless you and I have something to do today that's more challenging than raising Jesus from the dead, there is one who will empower us to get these things done. Now, I love the scripture that was read to you before I got to give this passage uh, or this little pep talk for you. I love the way Paul says in that fourth chapter of, Ephes of Philippians that he's learned the secret I like that word, secret. He's learned the secret to living, to living each day with what that day has in store. And what is the secret? The secret is that whether in, in plenty or hunger, he says, he says whether in abundance or need, who stereo is the word, uh, the verb from which need comes. Uh, it means lacking. Uh, it means postponing. You know, I don't have what it takes to do it today, postpone. But, but but that Paul doesn't mean postponing. He means I've learned the secret to doing it. Where others might postpone it, I don't need to. Because here's the secret. I can do all things through... Christ, who strengthens me. Um, the, the, the idea of strengthen there is it's taking the Greek word for getting things, for, for having the ability to do something, uh, dunamis, and it's adding to it this Greek preface, in, e, 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 in English letters, uh, epsilon nu. Uh, in dunamis is, is, is I have within me the ability to get done those things that are in God's will for me to do. And God's will isn't simply for me to share the gospel. God's will isn't simply for me to um, read the Bible, to pray, to go to church. It's not even simply for me to uh, love my wife as Christ loved the church. God's will for me is to today 
do everything I've got to do to his glory. That means to the glory of God, I need to do the good things today I'm excited about. The way I do that needs to be a testimony to the goodness of the Lord. And I need to do it in his name, by his strength. And the meh things, I need to find that those need to be done today to the glory of the Lord. And so I do them the best I can. And I do it as if I'm doing it with God himself sitting there watching me. No, doing it with me. And then the things today that are like, I don't want to do that. The root canals of your life. Again, I can do those if I do those through Christ to the glory of God. And I'll face what I've got to face and I'll do what I've got to do, be it easy, be it hard, be it fun, be it no fun, be it um, invigorating or be it humilifying. Is that a word? Humilifying, humiliating. Whatever I need to do, I'll do it to the glory of God. And that even includes saying no to these little nasty crackers. They put the crack in crackers. I mean, you eat one, you just can't stop. Man, they look good. I hope you're empowered today. I hope the power of today that you have is the power of Jesus. God bless you. I think we've got a good song for this. Bye-bye.